what we're going to do is we're going to set the positions of our circles in the scatter graph. Now, like I mentioned in the previous video, an SVG circle takes three properties. It takes CX, which is the X coordinate of the center of the circle, CY, which is a Y coordinate of the center of the circle, and R, which is the radius of the circle. And we need to set these to make our circles show up on the graph. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set the X coordinate of each created circle to these X coordinates here. So to do this, we can use the attribute method and the attribute that we're changing is CX. And for the value, we want to give a function. And in this case, item is referring to each item in this dataset array. So each of these rows. And we want to take the X coordinate, which is the first element inside each of these arrays. So item is referring to one of these row arrays. So we want to return item zero. Next thing we need to do is we need to set the Y coordinate, which is CY right here. And what we can do is we can call the attribute method again. Oops. And this time we're setting CY right here. So we will pass in CY as a string. And again, we're gonna be running a function that takes in item, which refers to one of these rows. We need to bear something in mind, which is that positive y on an SVG area moves downwards. So we need to move it back up. So to get the correct y coordinate, we should do the height of the SVG area, take away the height that the item should be at. So for example, in this one here, we want to push the points to the bottom and then move them back up as much as they need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the height, which is H, take away, and then the Y coordinate, which is item one in this case. And finally, we need to set the radius so that our points actually, actually show up. So to do that, we need to set the attribute and this time the attribute we're setting is R for the radius. And it says here that we should be setting this to five. So now we've kind of got a plot of all the X and Y coordinates. And yeah, that should be all we need to do. So I'm just gonna submit this right now. And yeah, that's worked perfectly.